Welcome to 5 Minutes with Rohila. My name is Rohila Johanna Bauer and I am your host in this particular program. In case you haven't watched the previous episodes, please do well to do so on my Facebook page or you might check my YouTube channel at Rohila Johanna Bauer Boots. Today we'll be taking Act 5, Scene 1 of the novel Painful Regrets by Rohila Johanna Bauer. We are in episode 30. Here I go. It was a Monday morning and uh, it was time for lunch. This was seen at the school garden when Naomi and Suzanne came over to meet him. Hello girls! This morning, how was your weekend? Not bad, and yours? Looking over to Suzanne. It was great! Guys, you got to excuse me. I got, uh, I got some tutorials to catch up with. Susan. See you later, Hi, you asked to see me. Yeah, yeah, I do. Where's my brother, by the way? He's at the football field. Let's sit. Moving over to see that So? I like you a lot, Susan. And I want us to be close, like intimate friends. Susan was speechless, but let us speak. I consider you as a brother because you are my brother's friend. And that is the best part of it. I'm sure our parents will support the union. I don't know what to say. Do you like me? Seems a bit shy. Uh, yes, I do. Then that's it. I love you, Susan. But what about my brother? Won't he get mad? I'll talk to him. Okay, I have to get back to class now. So soon? We got tutorials. I'll just say exams are just two weeks ahead. Oh, I remember. All the best. So don't stand up to leave. Goodbye then. Wait! This month, Silva, he pulls her back by the hand and kissed her passionately. Rima rushes and pulls him away, giving him a slap on his face. You stay away from my sister. Get out of here. He said he told Silva why she runs away, crying. Raymond. I love your sister, and you know that. Just shut up. Don't you dare say a word. But she's too young for your games, Mr. Playboy. Finish with your mates first. Which mates? Serena is not my girlfriend. I told you that already. She's just forcing herself on me, and you know it. And who asks for a confession from you? Are you angry because she prefers me over you? I'm sorry, man. I'll play with her to love you instead, you know? <laughs> <laughs> There's one say teasing him. You are more filled with anger. Don't blame whatever follows from now. He blows Desmond out and the combat begins. The other friends rushes over to the scene to separate the fight. So they gather around and join the fight. Desmond finally pulls away. That's it. Go to hell and keep your sister to yourself. And never you consider me as your friend again. You guys keep these sentiments and behave yourself. Do you really say? <laughs> Could this be love? Cameron asks the two say get from each other by each going his way, leaving Kelvin and Jibri. This is a bad thing. What actually happened? Are you asking me that question? He said thank you. Where are you going to? To get Susan, of course. Please wait for me, I'm coming. They exist. This one left the school to Max's house and Arama. He had a loud sound of hip hop music coming through the parlor. On getting to the house, he saw a young man with Mac taking beer. The entire place was littered with empty bottles of star and other alcoholic drinks. Then we had two half naked girls dancing to the music from the stereo. Hello, first one, come in, come in, join the party. School has not been closed. What brings you here? So, this is what is hindering you from coming to school all this way. Come on, man, don't waste your life. This does not fit you at all. I am not wasting my life. I'm just having the best part of it. By the way, Meet JJ, my friend, and Nebo. JJ forward his sent for a handshake. I see. So we have been abandoned, right? 
calm down, calm down. Sit down and have some drinks. Take. This will chill you up. No, thank you. What happened? Keeping the bottle aside. I can sense you are angry. Bringing a pack of cigarettes and light to <laughs> You smoke. Oh God. Where did you start all this, Mark? When I lost my parents. They have been hindering me from having fun. Now that they are nowhere to be found, <laughs> that's why I'm thankful to God for taking their lives. Amen. <laughs> you guys are all fools. Hi, right, young man. We are not fools here. Will you speak your mind and stop disparaging us here? <laughs> I'm so disappointed at Raymond. Do you know what he did? This man is dead at first, but continued to narrate the incident in the school. Pig, hey, you need this. Here, this is you now. JJ said and handed him another bottle. Without hesitation, he takes the bottle and drinks all of it. Another one, please. Handed him a second bottle. Don't hold yourself, young man. <laughs> I told you, one has to get some fun once in a while. Please sit and enjoy yourself. This man took the third bottle and drink all of it. He then looks at them. I'm seeing you guys in double. What is happening? You drank a lot. Girls, please take care of you. The girls go around to this man, kiss him all over. He didn't respond and after a while, he fell asleep. It was 5 p.m. in the evening. Desmond wakes and finds himself in an empty parlor with empty bottles of alcoholic drinks littered all over. Where could they have gone to? He to himself. Mark! 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 Coming from his room. Man, have you woken up? Yes, uh, I want to go home. Do take care of yourself to we'll see tomorrow. Uh, how? Will you come to school tomorrow? School is not. I've never been good in school, just like this. I just like this kind of fun. I quit school. But well, at least, what's your exams? Well, I might come that day. Uh, I must have drawn a lot. I'm feeling headache. My head is pounding. Yeah, you took a lot. Then I get away before your mom gets worried. Okay, bye then. Mary comes back from taking over this morning school. She checks with all his friends. Mark informed her that he just left his house. She was impatiently waiting for him. Just then he comes in. Good evening, Mom. Rushes over to him. Good evening, Desmond. Have you been drinking? Yes, Mom. Hope you didn't get drunk. Just three bottles. Darling, three bottles is not just. Come here, come here. Head up, right? Yes, ma'am. I'll be in my room. Let me get you some coffee. She disappeared to the dining room. Few minutes later, she knocked at his door. Oh, yes, come in. She entered the room. Here, drink this and take some painkiller. Thanks, ma'am. Where did you keep the clothes you wore? You mean my screen room? Yes, where are they? In my wardrobe together with my dirty clothes. clothes. Mary opened the wardrobe, brings out the clothes. I'll get you new ones. What are you going to do with them? I'm going to burn them. Your dad must not know that you got drunk, okay? Thank you, mom. I love you. You are the best. I love you too. Get some rest. I'll go get you lunch. Mom, I'm not hungry. I prepared your favorite. You can't tell me that I'll be right back. And don't pretend to sleep because I will sure wake you up. <sighs> okay, mom. I won't sleep. Light feed. Thank you for staying with us to the end of today's episode. So have a pleasant day. And don't forget to subscribe and click on the notification button to be able to access more of our episodes when they are uploaded.